Okay, well, we have some. Let's go ahead and get started. This is the final buff wrap up for Academy 2021. This morning, in the first session of the day, we had a handful of buffs and sessions that the three of you were a part of. Um, some and others were part of more. Yay, I see David Edmondson's joining, so that's great. Um, I'd also like to ask Alish to come back because he also hosted a buff today. Uh, getting into it, Alice, you hosted the Katie Goals All About the Apps Automation. Would you like to speak to it? Tell us how it went. You're muted. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, that was our first buff in the morning where we talked with uh, Sysadmin. So we had been doing buffs all over the week about different apps topics, mostly based around the platform. And well, one of the most uh, common themes was it would be great to automate X or Y. And actually, most of the times it was uh, all the same thing. So we thought, let's have a discussion with uh, the sysadmin team who all did join and, and discuss the different, uh, those different topics. It um, ended up uh, orbiting around how how amazing our life is gonna be when uh, we embrace GitLab CI. They are working on it, so they kind of said, "Please wait a little bit and be patient. It's gonna be amazing." And then we went through the different levels of amazingness. You can see uh, more specific notes if you look at the KD is all about the apps goal chat. Um, they're not super more specific. Uh, the sysadmin team, I think I would like to think at least that they promise that they will provide a bit more of documentation on what's the status of things and how to help them better. But uh, well, it seems like they have it under control. So, well, good luck to them and to all of us. It's going to be amazing. Next. Sorry, I couldn't find my unmute button for a second. Um, all right, thank you, Alish. How did your distribution uh, buff go? All right, so uh, it fairly naturally flowed on from the one previous. So it was, yeah, splitting the two, uh, splitting it into two was kind of fun. But um, uh, basically, the idea there also was to try and streamline the way we get stuff actually to end users uh, in uh, in in a way that puts the least amount of pressure on uh, people effectively in other words automation for the distribution side of uh, of our software production efforts um, and we came up with uh, a, a, a sort of procedure that we think might work, which would then uh, be tied into how GitLab works um, so that we can kind of use that as a nexus so that we have a straightforward, consistent process where the release effort from the point of view of someone maintaining an app who doesn't necessarily know uh, how to get their software built for 15 different operating systems and all of that sort of stuff um, and get it on stores and so on and to make that as straightforward and sort of effortless as possible while still remaining safe. Um, so there's a couple of things that we can't automate uh, because there needs to be a manual intervention step, but uh, there are a lot of things that can be and which are almost there um, and which then uh, kind of just need the dots 
connecting. Obviously, there is no such thing as easy, but um, yeah, there, we've we've got uh, a we've got a way forward there, and it looks really neat. So yeah, and of course the details are all in the uh, uh, the KDE All About the Apps uh, Matrix group as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Let's go over to Ken Kenny. Kenny is this way <laughs> for the KDE fundraising working group box. Uh, thanks, How Alison. So we mainly focused on two core themes. Um, one of the core themes was the uh, KDE 25th anniversary that's coming up and the opportunities that that's going to give us in regard to our fundraising efforts. So lots of exciting things going on there. Um, the other theme, which was kind of, um, we um, managed to relate the two was the ongoing efforts towards trying to get our civic CRM instance to do what we need it to, to be effective for the community and what we're doing with fundraising. Um, I think most of us, I think all of us in the uh, BOF agreed that civic CRM as it currently stands doesn't really do what it needs uh, doesn't really do what we need it to. Um, and so we're going to start um, actively looking at alternatives, not to replace it as a whole. I mean, it's still doing things like SEPA payments fairly well, but to look at things like PayPal integration and try to find something that fits some of those requirements, start experimenting a little bit, and um, hopefully try to build something new for the 25th anniversary. Um, we've currently got a requirements document um, that's getting put together just now by Carol. Um, if anyone wants to get involved in that effort, you're more, uh, you're more than free to join. You can um, get in touch via the uh, mailing list. We're also going to be um, opening up a new set of Matrix and IRC channels that people can join. Um, we're really hoping that by changing our tooling and changing the technology, we can try and get a bit more energy into the community and use that as a driver for um, improving our fundraising efforts. All right. Thank you. Okay, next up, Plasma and Chroma meeting hosted by David R. David R. Want to take it away? Tell us how it went. It went great. We first, uh, the promo people explained to us what they want, their goals with the Plasma announcements and the general strategy for reaching more the public uh, in general. And then we talked about how we as Plasma developers can help them make their process easier and help them make better Plasma announcement. And we, we also decided that the Plasma release in October will be called the Plasma Anniversary Edition and will release on the 25th anniversary of Plasma, uh, of KDE. <laughs> Well, let's go on. Uh, there was a plasma bug triage. Ooh, very nice hat, David. Would you like you. to take it away and tell us how it went? Yeah, so in previous years, nobody really likes doing bugs. So if you lock everybody in a physical room, that generally helps. Here we had a virtual equivalent. And the idea was to go through and we went through all of the list of all the bugs that were tracked as very high priority and went through which forms actually were and when going through it as a group making sure everyone in the core plasma team had an awareness of what are the big things that we need to focus on and getting lots of eyes on some of the same bugs and it actually resulted in several of these very high bugs getting immediate fixes that day but there's still lots of bugs left and you should all be helping well you heard it here Go help with bugs. Um, all right. Well, the final boff for today is the Cute for Python. It was a follow up on a previous boff and Anupam's uh, talk that we heard last weekend. Um, it is very late at night, and I offered to read out the updates for this. So let's do it. Uh, on public demand, uh, there was another hosted session for Cute for Python. Like the earlier one, this was a live coding session meant to be like a workshop for the topic. Today, this 
discussed about passing arguments of type lists, passing list of custom Python data objects, and parsing the data on, Q on the QML side. The QML list view and its population from custom Python data objects. And finally, properties, notifiable properties. That is the Qt for Python update. Uh, it was really exciting to see there was so much demand for it, at least on my side of things, because it was great as Anupam was a new speaker at Academy this year. And I think um, we were all very welcoming. And overall, I hope that everyone had a great experience, uh, especially the new speakers we had this year, the returning speakers we had this year, and our attendees. Okie doke. Well, um, I want to say thank you very much for a great week to all of our BAF hosts, to all of our speakers, and to all of our attendees. We couldn't have done it without you, and let's hope that next year we get to see each other in person, wherever, wherever in the world it is. Um, if we don't see you, um, if you can't make it to 2020 um, Academy, we hope to see you in some form at the 25th anniversary coming up in October. Please keep a lookout for more information on it. And we are planning like crazy. So if we reach out and ask you for some help, please consider helping and being a part of the plans. Um, it's very important. It's a huge milestone. And uh, let's all show how much we love and appreciate KDE. Thank you very much. Um, I will leave this now to Adam or Luigi, whoever would like to come or on up. <laughs> or both of you. I will take my leave. And thank you so much for such a great week as well. Your, your session chair skills are far beyond what mine could ever be. That's and, not true. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely not. Nah. But anyways, take it away. And let's find out who got the awards this year. Thank you. Um, so thank everyone. I'm here for the uh, to introduce you the winners of the, the Academy 2021 um, Community Awards, or just Academy Awards. Uh, for people who don't know about them, this is a, an award from the community to the community. It's, it's been around since 2005, and I was lucky enough to be to follow the first uh, instance of the Academy Awards uh, back then in my first Academy. Um, what happens is that uh, the recipients of the uh, award becomes the jury next the the uh, next year. Um, which means that uh, um, there should be three person here, but due to time zone issues and other logistical issues, I'm all, the only one. So I will also cover for Bushan Shah and for Karl Schwann. But you will see them in a, in a minute because they are here also. They, uh, they have a video to introduce their part of the award. And just, okay, finally, I have the slides as well. Um, so, without um, just a technical um, annotation, we are going to introduce all the awards. And um, if you are one of the winners, please follow. If you know how to join this room, please join it. Otherwise, follow the trail. The um, chat moderator will show you the way to come here. I just need to show you the first video. So Bushan Shah will introduce the first award. Because we are all transparent here, ready to. Hello, everyone. So this is about application category award. And uh, I am happy to announce that we want to give this award to Alexander Samke for his work on lab plot. The lab plot is graphing application for a scientific data, and I believe it deserves this award for 
reaching out of our own small free and open source software bubble and creating more user base in the community where we don't know much about. So yeah, congratulations and thank you for your work on Laplot. Thank you. Thank you. So for Laplot, and just to show you that this is all true. Um, as soon as I stop sharing, apologize. The, okay. So yeah, the first award is goes to Laplot, Alexander and Semke. I don't think Alexander is around, but in case, please join us. The second award, thank Bushan. Uh, the second one is presented by Karch Fan, and we will be there in in a minute. I guess I cannot see the chat right now, but I guess the applause are going. And let's go for the second award. Hello, uh, I'm happy to announce uh, that we are giving the non-application Academy Award to Paul Brown. Uh, Paul Brown has been working on the promo side of KDE for a few years already. Uh, he has been on top of announcing our applications, release, uh, plasma release, and scenery helped us uh, reaching uh, outside of all bubbles, uh, first of all bubbles more. Uh, thanks, uh, Paul, for all your work. <laughs> So thanks, Carl, and thanks, Paul, and I'm pretty sure you are around somewhere, so feel free to join us in a second. Um, and let's go back to the slides for the third recipient. If I manage to, okay. Thanks again. For the third recipient, so the uh, jury award, um, for the several years of service to the community as developer, presenter, speaker, and board member, and for always reminding us there is life in classic Unix outside the Linux kernel, the Academy 2021 Jury Awards goes to Adrian de Groot. So congratulations for the long-term contribution. And uh, yeah. And I'm sure you are, well, you are around, so I can see you here <laughs> coming. But before giving some voice to the winners, um, something they surely deserve, uh, together with the responsibility for the next uh, year award, um, we always need to remember that the Academy doesn't, it's not created by itself. Um, there are a lot of people who are working for months, even for a virtual one, uh, which presents different kind of complexity than a uh, in present one. So we don't really have a, the usual local team, but still we have a lot of people working. Um, you can see us as a public faces. Like, uh, but I'm just a volunteer. There are a lot. There is a lot of work um, ongoing. So we have also the organization award uh, going to the academy team for their work on this academy 2021. And I'm pretty sure everyone will agree that. Uh, this went very, very, very well. So thanks for all the work um, in those months and all the uh, behind the scene work. Thanks. And now I'm really hope that someone will join me because I'm not. I don't know what else to say at this point. Um, I can provide an history of all the past awards. No, no, no. We just really want to um, see. We hear the voice, see the people if they are around and hear the voices. Um, things are happening. I see a lot of applause, claps, uh, uh, people exploding. I see the chat exploding with, um, wow, there is the uh, loading chat. Thing. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello, Adrian. So, who else wants to join? I guess there is nothing more apart from the I get to do the uh, closing talk as well. So okay, but if you, you you can show yourself at this point, right? Um, if you want, we have Paul and Alexander also joining. Oh, great! That's a great news. So all of them here. 
thanks for uh, uh, showing them the way. <laughs> this is all live, so no one knows the, well, only like a limited number of people knows about the awards before the awards, so this is all live. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, my screen is over there, and my webcam is <laughs> over there, so this that makes things a little difficult. Okay. But we will manage. Yeah. I was, I was going to show off another very yellow t-shirt that I have, <laughs> but now you've, you've completely spoiled all my setup. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Welcome. Uh, Hi. Yeah, just... uh, it, it's interesting because the moment that the, when you were saying it, I wasn't actually in the room. Uh, uh, my son from the other room said, oh, congratulations. And I said, for what? Because I was, <laughs> I was telling Alexander, Alexander, congratulations. Because I, I went into the chat. I went into chat to tell him he had won. And uh, because he didn't know either. And he was doing his own thing. So uh, I went to tell, say, Alexander, come, you, you won an award. And that is when you announced that I had won this award. So I did, he didn't hear his and I didn't hear mine because I was telling you. <laughs> Seems legit. OK. Um... We have Alexander, who, are, as you said, already joined. Did, uh, Alexander, you just need to change the way you are connected from the speaker only to uh, or listener only to speaker. Also, you just need to click the interface. Is a bit that's the only a bit awkward thing of big blue button uh, or the things that people notice most. <laughs> I think it's also partly the surprise you get to say something to all those viewers out there. So. Yeah. But he's doing that, so we can see all live. Right. If we start planning for a physical academy in 2022 already, then mm -hmm. we need to figure out where the three jury members should meet. I mean, Paul is in the south of Spain, so that's a nice place to head to. But maybe yeah. Alexander has an even nicer location to offer us. Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. yes. I just rejoined, so let me check whether I can manage to activate my camera. Um. I'm here. Hi. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 So we are so, everyone. So yes, it's a bit surprising for me. You know, I was joining my uh, so the end of my very busy week, and I started Paul. So this was again, I think, a, a Spanish red wine. You know, so I was joining my evening, and then Paul is writing to me, Alexander, congratulations, and I was, what what's going on here? You know, so uh, <laughs> if you could give me a short summary of what has happened, you know, a short background, short context, so I can put the news into the proper context would be great. So I didn't, sorry, I didn't manage to go through the recent news and recent communication yet. So this is an application award uh, for the Academy, uh, which is the community award we give every year from the community to the community. <coughs> and we have three categories. So you won the one for the application award for the work on lab plot. Uh, great. Well, so that's thanks for all the work there. Uh, it's one of the small jewels that maybe people don't know too much, but still do want to share something. Now that's the time for the some speech, small speech. Yes, maybe so. Let me let me maybe spend some uh, some words, some time talking about this. So yes, it's a jewel, you know, but uh, and uh, not so many people know about this. Okay, but we are in the process of changing this, and I think so with the help of people like you know, so like what I mentioned last time during my talk at uh, Linux App Summit. So there are many people behind the scenes contributing also to this, okay? And then people like Paul and people doing, you know, all the CI stuff and so on and so on, writing documentation. So there are many people contributing to the success of our people, okay? So this is not only the work of the core developers, but of all these contributors, you know, this is the advantage of being part of such a community, okay? It's not a, a result of a contribution of one or two persons okay it's, so there's a whole community behind this so this award is not only going to us directly okay so thank you of course for this for this um for this decision okay but it's not only us okay so it's at the end it's the whole community so there are many people contributing to this directly indirectly indirectly so there's so there are many people uh 
responsible for this for this success so to say okay so but um, yes of course a very surprising result thank you all for this okay thanks a lot for this appreciation so i hope you know we we will be able to continue um working on this you know to keep this high bar of of, of uh, whatever goals and desires we set for us for this application so um i think this is just the beginning for us thank you everybody Thank you. Thank you. Well said, Alexander. That's a wonderful sentiment. It is the community that makes things possible. And I see, and I see Fabian, Fabian commenting here in the chat. You know, so maybe for people who don't know this, so Fabian, Fabian was one of our Jesus students uh, two, three, four years ago. Then he, next year, he even mentored. So he um, stopped being student. Okay, he was done his university, and then so next year he became already a mentor. KD mentor, so he mentored another student. So now he disappeared for one, two years, but I hope he will be back. So Fabian, we are counting on you, so we, we need you, right? So you, you don't disappear again, so we need you again. Okay, well, hopefully not, but you know, we have people coming and going, so I'm going and, and coming back, so that's... Yeah. Thank you. So, Paul, let's go in, in order. It's your time. Uh, well, I, 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 I am, like Alexander, I'm totally, completely surprised. I mean, I didn't even know that I would be eligible. Uh, uh, I, I, all I can say is <coughs> a lot. I mean, uh, I, do, um, uh, I do really honestly love this community, uh, although, uh, and I have been uh, uh, connected to the community seat. Well, I have been uh, a user of of KDE software since 1998 or something like that, uh, when I got it on Mandriva and it, it was amazing then and it's still amazing now and uh, I've never stopped using it and and I've been to the uh, the academies in Canarias before being part of of of, of KDE proper let's say and uh, and in in Malaga and I've been to the academy uh, ESs and I have. Tons of friends here, and this is really, I mean, this is really important for me, I must say. And uh, I appreciate it a lot. It's a very waffly uh, speech, but there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Nala. From the heart, you know? <laughs> very fine. Thank you. Really, really thank you for all, for all the work, even more than um, there are no eligibility things, I mean, that went far and be uh, beyond what was needed. So, yeah. thanks again. Oh, hey. So, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> and I think I'm being recognized as a dinosaur here, which is a good thing. Um, I, I, I have in my hand a business card, a KDE business card from 2008, I think, when I was on the board. And I'm on the board again. So I keep coming back or I keep orbiting KDE in all kinds of different ways. And uh, yeah, still happy to be here. And thank you for the recognition. I believe that this is also just a trick really by, by you and the Academy organization to make sure that I'm around next year and actually do something, do one of the things that I promised to do, because that's hmm. okay. it's suspect. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's interesting. No, we we did we decide totally in a separate way, so I can assure you that that's. But so thanks again for all the, the all those years of service, and let's see that they are not the last ones, so <laughs> they will continue again. So thanks again, and so someone from the uh, organization team. So I'd like to leave the screen to them to for them to say something, so that they can leave happily and make sure things are going to the natural conclusion today. Yeah, people are calling the Kennys. <laughs> so. I suspect that the thing they're going to say is, and our, to close the academy, here's aid. <laughs> well, but I'll, I'll leave that to them. Let's see if I, I see some movement. So something is happening. So maybe we will see someone. Yeah, 
Hello again, Alison. <laughs> I mean, I'm really just here to say NPO's aid, but <laughs> this is a team effort, and I would love if at least the Kennys could come up here because they do most of the hard work and the infrastructure that was built for this year to help bridge into hybrid uh, events for future academies. It, the, the work that they did was phenomenal. I'm joining because you believe me, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Way. Welcome. <laughs> All right. So, so thanks again. So, do I uh, want to have some bit of speech, which is just not here is eight. Well, welcome everybody. It's good to see all of you. Well, I don't really see all of you because you're over there on my screen and the webcam is over there. Um, but I'd really like to thank the people running the show. That is Kenny, Kenny, Allison, uh, Sysadmin. Sysadmin is, is sort of in the shadows, but they're keeping the things running. Um, even when it is Allison and Kenny and Kenny that you see up front as uh, fronting the organization. Um, so once again, thank you for your efforts this year and every year, and I hope to see all of you organizing uh, next year again. Um, with my board hat on, uh, you just saw Dave doing the, board, the BOF wrap up with an excellent actual hat on. Um, this is a virtual one. Uh, board hat on, I'd like to say a special thanks to our sponsors, Ambition, KDAB, the Cute Company or Cute Group, uh, GitLab and Fedora for helping us uh, run this thing, make the Making Academy possible. I'd like to thank our keynotes, Patricia Oss and Jerry Ellsworth for providing a very interesting side channel to the conference. Um, Patricia's title was, I can't work like this, but I hope she can work with us. Um, we're just about to wrap up Academy for 2021. That's the end of this event. It's not the end of our KDE work and there's upcoming events as well. Uh, I'd like to remind everyone, Allison already mentioned it, um, the 20 and, oh, and Kenny, Kenny Coyle also mentioned it for the fundraising. Uh, KDE turns 25 on October 14th. Um, so on October 14th, we should all be ready to party. That will need our party hats. And if you haven't had enough Academy type flavors, uh, there's Academy ES, the Spanish Academy, which runs every year. And this year it is November 19th to 21st. So those are our upcoming KDE events, our anniversary and K Academy ES. I'm personally looking forward also to seeing another Conf KDE in once we can travel and a physical academy 2022 thank you all for watching thank you all for speaking and participating in the boffs and we'll see you next year cheers <laughs>